What's going on everybody? Al here. Street Sense Battle of the Fragrances. I'm bringing it back. Got a lot of messages to bring Battle of the Fragrances back, so it's back. And I'm bringing back someone that the fragrance community absolutely loves. I got so many, so many requests to bring you back. And it's the one and only Deria. How's it going? Good, how you been? I'm doing good. To let everybody, all my new subscribers out there, if you haven't seen Deria, she was in the Bond Number 9 Brooklyn Street Sense and the Guerlain Tanka Imperial Street Sense. And she did an amazing job. You have an amazing nose, you know that already. Thank you. The fragrance community knows that. Question, when are you gonna do reviews? That's why everybody wants to know. When are we gonna see a review? I know you're trying to convince me to go into reviews. Uh, something I have to think about, but you know, if I have time, I will definitely you know, try to get into it. Okay, you heard it. She might do reviews, but of course, you're gonna be back once again, I'm sure. On of Street course, Sense. Anytime. I'm always gonna bring Dedia back because she's, you know, loved by the fragrance community. Thank you. So now I'm bringing you back for something different. This is called Battle of the Fragrances. You're gonna smell three fragrances, A, B, and C. Give us a quick impression okay. and let us know what you think and pick one winner. Alright? All right? So A, B, C, you pick a winner. And this is gonna be the Therry Mugler battle of fragrances. Therry Mugler. I have three fragrances from the house of Therry Mugler. You ever hear of Therry Mugler? Yes, I heard of him. Okay. Therry Mugler, or you can say Therry Mugler, French, however you wanna pronounce it, but I say Therry Mugler. Alright, so A, B, and C, I'm gonna show everybody the fragrances, I'm gonna spray them on the car, you're not gonna see them. Okay. And you're gonna choose a winner. Alright. Alright? This is how it's done. So here we go. Here goes A. Let me get in my pockets. Can't show you. Okay. Let me show everybody A. This is A. Okay. I'm gonna spray it on card number A. Here we go. There you go. There's A. Gotta try it down. Okay. Oh wow, this smells really strong. Okay. It smells like something I smelled before, like rose. Okay. It has like a rose, it has spice in there. Yeah, I definitely smell like the floral, but it's very spicy at the same time. Really nice. Okay. It's a strong scent, but not overbearing at all. You like it? I do like it. Okay. It's really nice. It, it's kind of different too, right? Do you think mm -hmm. it's different? It's like, I mean, it's, you know, you definitely get that spice, but it's so floral at the same time that it's... I don't know, I can't describe it. It's like a combination that I haven't smelled. Okay. But I have like uh, notes in there that I have smelled before. And it's all the notes that I do like. Okay. So the combination is great. All right, so so far so good. All right, so that, that's A. So keep that on your mind. Let's go with B now. All okay. right, so hold on to that. Here's B. All right. Let's spray B. There's B. <laughs> uh, this one's totally the opposite. Okay. <laughs> it smells like gummy bears. Gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I guess, uh, you know, gummy bears are fruity. This is fruity, uh, sweet, because gummy bears are sweet. It's definitely sweet. But definitely like a candy type. Okay, um, totally very different. Very nice. But like, you know, the gummy bears, the sense that I'm getting is like the lemons, the limes, uh, more of the citrus tones. Okay. And it is sweet. It's sweet at the same time. Okay. All right, so you got A, you got B, now here goes C. Here's C, everybody. Here's the card, here we go. C. Do they all have like a similar like vibe to them? Kind like, of, like they have the same A little bit of similar, yeah, exactly. But then they have something on top that just like throws a curveball at you. Right, like this one, the opening for this one is more of like a pine. Okay. It's uh, very prominent. This one's not as sweet as the other ones. The first two was, were very sweet. This one's not sweet. Um, but I do get that fresh cut pine. Okay. Um, and it's not woodsy pine. It's just, you know, a very fresh, raw pine. Okay. Uh, not spicy, not too spicy, but like you said, there's, you know, it has a similar note in all of them, and I could smell that one in here as yeah, well. Yeah, the DNA, uh, when, mm -hmm. when they get towards a dry down, they'll have like a similarity to them. Yeah, like they all like open up in Terry their own. Terry Mugler's signature kind exactly, of thing. Exactly, exactly. She knows. Terry, Terry Mugler has a signature, like, dry down, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the DNA of Terry Mugler. Yeah. So, A, B, C, you smelt them. I don't know if you want to smell them again. Okay, I'm going to go back to them. Go back real quick, and we're going to choose a winner. The House of Therry Mugler, Battle of Fragrances, 
it is gonna choose a winner. Let's see. The, the winner she chooses, I'm sure everybody's gonna go out and buy. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to choose because they're all so great, but I think for me personally, um, the one that I'm attracted to most would be C. C. Just because, um, you know, the fruity one is just too fruity for me, and I'm more of, you know, the, the spice, the woods, um, something not so sweet. Uh, I don't like sweet too much. I like to eat my sweet <laughs> and not smell sweet. But it, it, it's really great. I love it, the perfect combination. So you're saying C is the winner. You're basing yes. it on something you wear or something you like, like your boyfriend or your husband to wear, or just overall? Um, you know, overall, on a guy, because I believe these are all guys. These are all right? men, yes, these, these are all, all men. men. Uh, for a men, I don't like too sweet. Okay. So, uh, you know, definitely the pine one. C. Is C. I, I, I would like my guy to smell like C rather than A and B. You wouldn't wear any of these, right? You know, I might. Okay. I might. Because I know females I mean, do wear a male. I mean, B definitely could be a woman's perfume at the same okay. time because it's just so sweet and fruity. Okay. All right, so the winner is C. Yes. All right, let me show you guys the winner. The winner is Pure Malts. This is Pure Malts. That's the, the winner. It's hard to find, limited edition. The winner is Terry Mugus Pure Malts. It went up against, let me show you guys real quick. They're in my pocket. A is the original, the original Angel Man, original A Man. That was A? That was A. This okay. is the first release from Terry Mugus, mm -hmm. the original. And B is Pure Havan. Pure Havan is B. And A, A is the has the harsh, strong opening. It's mm -hmm. very harsh. When it dries down, it gets like a caramel brownie yes. in a dry down. It lasts a long time. It's a classic fragrance. B is pure Havan. It's supposed to have sweetness, like from like a honey, cherry sweetness. And it has uh, some tobacco in there also when it gets into the dry down. I don't... You, you probably don't get that. It's very sweet. It's, it's hard to... You know, I, yeah, I, you know... Now that he's not, maybe I could smell it, but it's more sweet than tobacco. Yeah, well, you, it's later on it kicks in. Yeah. And then C is, is pure malt. And pure malt opens up like a boozy. It has like, kind of like a boozy, like mm -hmm. a little bit of a whiskey. And it is sweet. And it has caramel and like caramel vanilla dry down. And it is a great fragrance. It, it is kind of sweet. In a, in a, it's like berries, actually. Like whiskey and berries mm -hmm. on pure malt. But the winner is? C. C. Pure malt. Pure malt. There you have it. Pure Most the winner, Daddy, I chose it. And another episode of Battle of Fragrances wrapped up. All right, anything else you want to say? No, not really, <laughs> but, uh, you know, thank you for everybody who wanted me back, and it's a pleasure to be back. I thank you again, once again, to be back on Battle of Fragrances. We'll see you again on Street Sense. Okay. Hopefully a review coming soon. Maybe. <laughs> and we'll, I'll keep you guys posted. If she does a review, I'll let you guys know. And there you have it, another episode of Battle of Fragrances wrapped up. If you have any questions, send me a message, rate, comment, subscribe. Deria, we'll see you guys later.